Thank you. Thank you very much for your kindly words. Um, and thank you for the uh, UDK to invite to us to, to, to give this uh, lecture. Um, we try to, to explain something about we're thinking about the architecture, the general architecture, and then we have selected many projects to, to think about this. Um, first project of Forbidden is uh, in, this is the city of Cadiz. And uh, this is uh, the, the specific side of that uh, the city is, is, our, is uh, completely around by the sea, the, yeah, the Atlantic uh, Ocean. And uh, in this side, we make this uh, building. This is a situation, this was the, this is uh, the cathedral uh, in front of the sea. And this is a very, very nice site for to, to build something. <laughs> This was uh, before the construction and the, the project. Uh, the project is, is behind of this uh, wall of an ancient also palace. And the situation is uh, near from the cathedral. The problematic at the beginning of the project was that uh, we have to destroy this uh, ancient palace that uh, in the in many times is developed uh, occupied for, for people that finally they bought the different part of this uh, this big house okay we have to take some uh, like um, a, a layer uh, to take uh, how many how many uh, square meter the family they have and we have to transform this destroy it at all and to put a new building for to give them exactly how many meters they have. This is a strange situation, but this is the situation of the beginning. Then, then, then we have to measure, we have to, to, get, to take the drawings, and uh, uh, we are all of us uh, to take exactly the dimension and the situation that uh, you can follow from here, to the square, to there, and we arrive to this uh, little uh, straight. Also, we, we make a model to describe the situation. People have a, a strange a kind of living there because uh, uh, they live here and there, live is here and there. This is not exactly here and there. This is not exactly this uh, kind of, we have a, a house of 
an apartment uh, instead of uh, is, uh, is can measure that uh, every family live in the sky, live in front of the sea, live in the culture, but uh, they have no exactly uh, a complete space. Finally, uh, this, uh, this kind of uh, phenomenon, uh, for us, uh, we don't want to destroy this, uh, this uh, marvelous uh, mixture of phenomena that uh, you can find in at the interior of this big house with a lot of families, it, more or less. They were 15 families. This is the beginning of this measure. Finally, also, we discovered that uh, we, this, uh, the, the, the building, the ancient building, have 18, 18 <laughs> they ate this uh, street, little street, that uh, uh, the, the level of the building uh, closed here and closed that, but uh, finally they also have a little, a small street at the interior of this big, big house, okay? Then they have, for us, all you have to need from the, for the, your living. You have the street, you have the courtyard, you have the window, you have the sky, you have a lot of people live in there. At the end, we decided to convince the, the, the town hall now destroy the house, only to transform two people live in better condition, of course, to transform in, in the kind of way to, to for family live in, a, in more or less in this kind of, uh, uh, not exactly a platinum, but uh, with uh, in better condition, but uh, only to transform at minimum the, the house was uh, in, that, uh, in that situation. We make these uh, plans, we make also the measure that uh, the ancient building was. We have this uh, complete life that you, we, you, we can found that. Uh, and this, uh, this ensemble of life at the interior, we, we found uh, absolutely marvelous at the interior. The house also, and there were ancient Roman walls and that. Uh, this uh, finally is a complex of history, but uh, this is the reason for not to destroy it also the, the, the house. You can see here all this life with the, the long develop of the time. The culture, this um, big, big furniture that go out, but reach to look at the sky or to leave the culture. Oh, this is, of course, the room of the sailor, okay? <laughs> One, another family that had, that, uh, had this big, big, big room and, and that it uh, were in this situation. The project, uh, is, uh, it was this puzzle that uh, we only put in good condition and to try to, to make um, many units that uh, people can live in better, but uh, now to transform this a lot of phenomenon that uh, they can reach to live there in, in, that, in that situation with time. But uh, the, main, the, the main thing of the project was this kind of a street they, the, they have eight long, long time at the interior of this measure of this puzzle of life. No? This uh, was the, the space that uh, we can found here, here, and that. And this void is not exactly, it's not mass, it's the void that uh, it was in that situation. Every people live with this void, live with this possibility to, to, to see the sky, to live in the courtyard, to live in the street, but the street was exactly like another furniture. It's not exactly on the street, it's not exactly a culture in that, uh, in that point. Only people have transformed in that that we have interpreted in a new project. This is the, this model of the space, the void. And you can see here the, the door for to go out to the street, the another door, the street, 
the, the door for to go out to, from the staircase to the terrace and that. The drawings transform <coughs> in a kind more stronger the situation that the street, one of the street, can uh, transform this kind of, of the public space. These big uh, windows <coughs> you can open and uh, occupy the street and for people the street belongs to them. This was the, the, uh, the, the ancient street that he ate in time, okay, and the neighbor look at the interior, the street belongs to them, and if you walk on, you walk, you arrive to this uh, big culture that also they can see the sky. Finally, we have one culture, another, and another more, more smaller. This is different section. This is the section of this culture from there. And this is another situation of the particularly thing. This was the model. And then in yellow, this is the void. And uh, in gray, this is the all life people that live, that live with this yellow space. The street that uh, that was in this situation and the different level of ground that the time they have lived this transformation with uh, this kind mixture of time and lives. Uh, windows that belong to the different um, uh, apartment um, open and occupied this space and finally this is a kind of another big room that belong to the other neighborhood that live here. This is the back view uh, before and the different level also. The, the, the ground floor is always moving. It's not <laughs> exactly the same, the same topography and they, it talk to us this uh, change by time, change by time, this memory that uh, the architecture has exactly in the life of the city. Also, the views of the gaze of the neighborhood to, from another houses can, um, can experiment the, this void of this space, but uh, you have to respect this, uh, this property of gaze for to another neighborhood. You, don't, you only <coughs> have to permit the neighborhood look at, at the interior of to another house and this uh, reflection complex was where the phenomenon that I talking before. This is this, this street, the ancient wall, of the another houses and explore this street to discover something. The Goja finally was this uh, like big furniture that you can put uh, the bed, plants in summer, or moving these uh, big, big uh, windows and uh, to transform the aspect, the, li the life of this space. You can see the, when the sky unprotected in the, in front of the sky because in the, sky is the, the sun is too strong, then you have to measure this uh, relation exactly in which quantity you have to put a light and interior and that. This big furniture is hanging in the, in the culture. People, we, <laughs> we hope they transform this uh, with uh, something. They, of course, they play here uh, flamenco in summer, and uh, in that uh, it belonged uh, to many people of the of the of the quartier because uh, it's also one public space for all this uh, site. This is the complex of the ground floor. There, the, the ground floor is always moving with time. With time, we say. Uh, 20 seconds, we don't know exactly because it's the, the moving of the of time. We 
we don't want exactly to put exactly this, uh, this heavy architecture. We, we want to hang in of this uh, support of the more resistant element uh, in the house and put this uh, possibility of moving, in, of moving in time. To measure this uh, quality of to go into, go out, go through and discover all of these phenomena that we found in, in other wars there when we visit for first time the, the house and in from that time we don't want to transform this uh, this uh, wonderful spice we discovered. So this was the street transformed with these uh, big mobiles also that uh, they can open and uh, belong exactly for the neighborhood. The street also again came from the house. And uh, when, when we finished the, the house, we began another house. This is the wonderful history in Cadiz. They never end a house. They always, they less, they play open with the open of the roof and the, you can develop this, uh, this new topography with a new house. Then we have two floors here, two, two houses uh, on upper with this uh, main volume of the main house. Anyway, the wonderful was discover the terrace, but discover that. This is a public space, it's not exactly for the house, it's a, a wonderful site for to, in this site, in summer, profit this kind of wonderful image of the patrimony, of the heritage. We thought uh, <coughs> this project, we want to talk because about him, it because uh, is, uh, is our concept about uh, living in particular conditions. This, is the, this was the site of Europan. This, uh, this is uh, Ceuta, is uh, the north of Africa. The site uh, of Europan was in this situation and uh, visiting site, we discovered that the um, many many houses they have um, people built with uh, their hands and uh, immigrant and that and we discovered the reason of these houses. These houses uh, were for protecting in front of the wind, in front of the sun, and also to profit something that uh, the landscape and the site you can found it. It were a big, big um, uh, caves for take uh, stone for to make these uh, castles. There are many castles in Ceuta, this is because it's a military city. And uh, we discovered the, the possibility to make, uh, to work with the stone and with the living. Mm. We thought that the main, the main way to resolve the project uh, were to thinking about this big hole for the ancient uh, caves and uh, transform a little square, but uh, each, uh, each uh, building belonged to a big, big rock. This one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. We remember, um, we remember this uh, sculpture in the, when we make the, the competition. This is the very known uh, sculpture of uh, Michel Michelangelo. And uh, when the, he has a material, he can make the leg, foot, arm, head. When, but uh, when he hasn't this possibility, um, uh, he has to move the body to profit instead of this situation, profit this situation for to make the, the rest of the body. And the, the project could be that. We profit uh, the whole, the big hole of the caves for to produce the, to introduce the big building in, in it. 
and develop with this possibility of the rest of rock, this mountain of rocks, to develop the project. One, one of them, another, another, one, another. Then we want to now to work with the normal morphology of the development of the city. We want the morphology, the first morphology, where the topography of the site. We profit uh, the main hole of the caves to put the uh, main towers and uh, we follow the, the topography of the rest for to put the uh, little uh, housing. This is the section of the project, uh, one tower, another, one square, one square. We have to protect it in front of the wind. Uh, a lot of you know this uh, site, uh, the wind is very strong. It's uh, in front of Tarifa, it's the paradise of the windsurf. And this is the same, the same site, okay? It's very, very strong. Then you have to develop the possibility for the, to live uh, in, uh, together is uh, protecting the public space. We are, we are, we have one of here, one here, here, and there. This is the section. This uh, this uh, was the section to discover the public space, tower, and living housing smaller, and uh, it follows big stone, big stone big stone and big stone. This is the project, this is the design of this. We don't want to develop the morphology of the city in this site like that. The competition is for to resolve this kind of develop uh, in, uh, the, in the opposite direction like that and I think we think to resolve like that. This is like uh, big uh, pieces and protected in front of wind and to produce a public space between them. But also, we don't want to resolve this architecture with a typology, normal typology we, we say or we rescue from the history. We want to resolve in a little protocol that all the possibility that uh, we are going to found there we, uh, we have to change the, the, the entrance, the main entrance to the house because the topography uh, followed you to resolve the, the, the project in many, many ways. Also, we have to resolve the, the fence in front of the wind. Also, we have to resolve the program. Uh, we have uh, housing with uh, two bedrooms, three and four. And also, we have to resolve these possibilities in red block, there were always a kitchen and the living room. The blue box is a two bedroom and bathroom. And yellow box were a kitchen, living room, and one bedroom more. And the, the blue I have uh, said. The problem was that the, the were that, that the topography condition, the position of this box, no? and the dimension of the courtyard and the other. Then we want to produce this uh, box and move in and interior, move these possibilities. Finally, the project is like that. It's an, an ensemble of boxes that move depending on the sun, window, topography, and program. This is where the, the plants, uh, you can see the different cut, uh, different levels. Okay, from down to upper, when you when here appears the towers. Work different uh, types. Okay, always uh, down. You can see the bedroom, the bathroom, coja, and upper, the living room, and the uh, kitchen. So the panel. In tower, we have the possibility to, to transform in uh, double housing, double height, with uh, independent of the, of the programs. Then, but uh, we put uh, always one condition we need for our desire. All housing for us must be, 
must be open to the two C's that you have there. One of these C's, uh, this facade, look at uh, the interior of uh, Maroc, of the Bahia of the Tetuan, and the another look at the Bahia of Gibraltar. Then we have to profit for, for all living of that, the possibility to look at one of these and also to look at another, okay? Then this is a void that the, where the air can through in it and transform this, uh, this, uh, this apartment in an open space with two strong landscape. This was the model of the competition. This is the, finally the, the, the project built. And uh, you can see here exactly the condition of this big rock with this uh, um, one of this ensemble and this building, another, 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 and it's a plane with a different level of topography, um, not to produce uh, exactly this, this development of the city. It's an opposite work with, uh, in this manner, opposite to the develop of this city. That uh, I, we thought this is the reason of the competition. Of course, the, for example, the main entrance for this tower is uh, at the, the third level. The different typology of the, we, uh, we developed the interior of the tower became this uh, little, little transformation by, because we want to, to introduce this, uh, this amazing uh, volume and program to the interior of the tower and the little houses that uh, play with the rock and uh, for example, in this side, uh, behind of this is a little square for people protecting in front of the window. Uh, window. This is another complex, another wrap of this uh, ensemble of living, little uh, housing, hagar, and uh, also the possibility to, to go into this tower in, in the third level, fourth level, independent of the landscape and the possibility that gives you the topography. You can see this is the Bahia of Tetuan in Maroc and the another, in another site, you have the Bahia in front of Gibraltar, it's, a, it's right. Okay. Also, the, we uh, put this uh, little uh, or big or medium box in the complex of the city uh, And you can see here the space, intermediate space between uh, smaller houses and uh, towers and this is street. That uh, This is, uh, for example, the main hall of this tower is the, in the second, second floor, but this is double high. And that, you know. We profit, also, of course, the, the rocks. We made the concrete with uh, the rock we take in the, with the canteer for to make exactly the, the same color of the, of the concrete on the, on the site. Another view. And to permit the possibility to transform the houses. This is a, a support. They could uh, make uh, this uh, kind of uh, new roof or, or that because uh, always we want uh, the wind go through this uh, little house that is made with different boxes that uh, profit uh, landscape and the open air and that. This is another view in the connection between one tower and little houses and also the support that uh, there's a living room, bathroom, and kitchen. We recycle this element from the, to, to make model for concrete and profit in the, to make the facade at the interior of the courtyard of the houses, little houses, to produce this uh, element that uh, take, uh, mm, close the light. This is one of these houses. One the view of this little courtyard that uh, every house of this smaller has um, um, to code and uh, it became transformed with time and that. This is the possibility 
uh, square, each square is never in the same level because recognize exactly the topography that you have to profit uh, the landscape. For example, this is the ancient Ceuta, this is the ancient city. Then at the end, Maroc, and uh, it uh, happens in the middle of the tower, in the middle of high of tower. No? This tower is uh, in the hole, the big hole of the ancient canteen. This is a department, a double department in towers, and the profit also always the one bahia and the another bahia in the opposite, opposite uh, facade, and to produce this box uh, boy to put uh, anyone wants. One need more. This is uh, the entrance for tower that you have to go back and to rescue the level go into the elevator and go up. But uh, finally, <coughs> the rock arrived in this situation, the big towers in the main halls and the smaller houses that uh, in this uh, position that to rescue the best wall upper their roof. This is the Bahia of the Marruecos, it's a wonderful sight. It's incredible because the water is nice, it's too wind, it's the problem, but... Uh, this is an installation uh, all of you, of you uh, recognize, it's the um, Nancy Hall, this is the so, uh, solar tunnels. The problem for her was where, was exactly how to possibility the life there in this uh, desert. Finally, to build a site uh, after to make something for to live inside. Inside what? Like artists uh, always make all with simplicity, but intensity, intensive and a stronger solution. The artists uh, normally, they don't have money, they don't have to follow um, alternative way to resolve something, they go to the head. Always the solution is clear, uh, marvelous, and actually describe the, the situation. They live at inside, in, um, in night uh, or in the day, the, each tunnel recognizes the position of the sun, the moving, uh, this thing that, uh, little thing that in the desert can be moved. Uh, there are uh, little thing, but only the wind, but the day is always a time, long, long, long time. It's wonderful, this installation for us. In this uh, <coughs> uh, situation of the, uh, the complex of Nihar, is a, a theater and a different uh, main room for exhibitions and uh, performing art. The situation were like that, perhaps, because it's uh, the desert, this is uh, the, the Tavernas Desert, where they make the Spaghetti Western, in the, this uh, famous film, of Italian film, this is in the side, behind of the side, of this uh, uh, mountain. The side were, was here. My partner Sarah work about this uh, model, and always she make the same. It's like uh, big volumes that protect it one on one side to produce shadow. This is this quality of the side must resolve in which side we can live. We can inhabit an interior no, of this desert. The project. Finally, with, uh, was uh, that, this is to produce two pieces that uh, uh, to put an intermediate space between them, with, uh, between this administrative and for the exhibition and performing art, and the other piece is, uh, was for the, uh, literally, the theater. Uh, an open theater, transforming theater for many, many uh, functions. This, is, this was the, the model, the competition, and this is the building. Then we want to 
introduce one of these pieces at the ground, resolve, resolving the different uh, level of the ground, not to transform this quality of the ground with rock and that, and uh, to put one of these pieces, produce this site for live in, in it, but at the, at the exterior, because in this strange situation of the desert, we don't believe exactly in the in live inside the room or to live in a public building inside these uh, closed rooms. We want always to, to give them the possibility to imagine that they were at the exterior and also to produce uh, intermediate space for to permit this, uh, this kind of life for these people of this country, this uh, city. This was the theater and this was the another piece. We want also to produce no, to, no a building without windows, without doors, without composition, without lines. We want also, also to produce this kind of situation that uh, the village don't transform the site for the architecture. Produce always this exterior space, this building is uh, um, perhaps uh, five meters deeper uh, this is uh, also more, but uh, this is le the level, the contact with city, and uh, you can go down with this, this little ramp that is behind of this wall. And also to permit uh, the life following like that in this moment. This happens every year at third, third of clock in the evening. The, this animal go through, many, many of them go into, and uh, nothing happens. It's this is the direction with, with this part. This is a fabric of ceramic. And this is the desert, OK? And uh, the, this is a big tube that uh, is, it, it is uh, twice is colonized by the different programs, but we don't want to have window doors. In the upper of the, of the site, we, we have this. Uh, we can control <coughs> the dimension of the void of the air. And the, the air comes through from here to there. And uh, this building is uh, an strange object that uh, you can use for protecting in front of the sound, the wind. We want to, to put it this. Um, uh, now, well, this uh, ugly material with the gray of concrete and uh, not to resolve with design. Pro produce this kind of uh, like artist to the main idea to put there and resolve the problem, of course, the architecture, the water, wind, but uh, no resolve with design. This is the main section of the one building. This is for the exhibition, for the administration, for perform performing arts. Uh, you went through it here in, in a few moments. And the other main stage for the theater, the goya for children in, the, in, this, in this time that uh, in that city, children live all day out, but uh, protecting in which uh, building, another building they walk or, along the way, along the day, and this is a, a nice, nice kind of living the site. This is the entrance to the theater. We don't have window. We have this cut of the landscape that uh, take at the interior. This is a colonized tube for these different programs and put this, uh, this kind of solution to like uh, mechanic. I don't know how to say, but uh, it's like that. This metal boot and uh, this is the stage, the transformer for different functions the people want to, to need. This is the place for the exhibitions and produce this, uh, this worn life at the interior of these strange tubes. At the exterior is uh, the opposite, it's gray, it's no. It's no beautiful, it's uh, bored, 
but an interior is uh, this uh, explosion of life, of warmth, and that. This is for the same site, and the end uh, is the performance site for the for the jazz and that, and for the musicians. This is for the ballet, and the take this uh, know exactly where you were, the limit of the building. This, uh, the glass, but uh, this is faces at, at the stereo completely. Back uh, gaze from here to there, and reflecting this uh, strong sand that you have to protect the building. Never you can you can do a facade in that side because it's a, a straight a strange for the situation for the architect how to resolve this uh, limited that you have wonderful and you are. Became died because, because the temperature became 45 degrees in summer. The, the day, the open day, open day of the building, it became that. The people, the politicians want to inaugurate the, the building upper, okay, in the street for everybody to go so, see the, 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 level, the, the, the building. But uh, cleverly, people arrive down to protect it in front of the sound and uh, uh, with this uh, space that uh, is going to be to the, for us, the more important site is uh, at the exterior, but at the interior protected with this uh, like a scarf that uh, is the solution for the building. And all the children discover this tube that uh, they can go to take cases and to take a look at it, one part to another part, and uh, are, all of the children are the same. This, uh, this kind of people, clever people, they discover the space. In night, it changed again, <coughs> and transforming that. So this, uh, this two colonies are for people, for living, and Nauman uh, made at the beginning of, the, of its work this sculpture. For us, this sculpture uh, have, has many, 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 a lot of things that uh, we have thought about because uh, um, this is the space that we have under my chair. Never imagine that uh, an space under a chair, it was so interesting because it's strange, but describe all arrived to this space. You can see here uh, the, the wood, the another wood, uh, the, the side we put uh, and we sit down. But uh, for us, it's the same situation that um, many, many years has the architecture. When we, will, when we thought about a public building in the ancient time, you can have an um, aniconic space and hierarchy in the distribution of the plan of the building, and you follow this plan, you follow this iconic or symbolic space or symbolic geometry. Instead of now, we put a space that uh, many, many uh, things arrive to resolve this space or this void. And finally, this boy is, the, is going to be the space for people who live there inside of the public buildings. Normally, you don't have a space for to produce this relation between people. Then you have to take, I don't know, the possibility to resolve this public space that you have at the interior of the, of the public buildings. How to do it? This is the, the problem for us because it is uh, the space you don't have never money for to resolve, never pay to you money for that. But finally, you have, under the chair, you have this space. It's a wonderful space. Probably the public building must be there, must be like that. This, is a, uh, <clears throat> this was a competition, double competition. We have to, to resolve the settlement of the, the site and to resolve the program for the University Pablo de la Vide in Sevilla. 
um, we have very bad, we, we had luck, uh, we won twice, and uh, finally we do so a um, little months, many months ago, the one of these one of these buildings. The main idea of the building of the classroom and um, the library and the uh, offices and the bottom and for teachers were that. It's uh, like uh, support and produce like a space that is that. It's uh, an open street uh, that you look at uh, the exterior and uh, develop the different uh, function in the way of time and in different colors big uh, ramps uh, or different classroom or in many faces you can put classroom or department or you can arrive with roof and that. It's going to be transformed in, by the project, by time, but finally we have to, to want to resolve this project uh, with an opener. Like uh, if you put over the uh, over of this uh, upper of this space, you put the rest of program, like this space under my chair. Of course, it's, uh, the, 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 the images that we had is it's always the same. This is a wonderful site, you know. This is Soko in the Muslim the city that uh, this space transformed each hour the life inside. At uh, five or six o'clock in the morning, is like that, but uh, four or five in the evening is closed, never live, live there, okay? But uh, this uh, space is the result of these different programs that belong and uh, live inside of this. This was the, the first model of the, one of the species of the classroom and department. And this is the, finally the project, uh, this is the the cut, the transversal cut of this building, this street uh, and the classroom, department, main, main the class and uh, this big space that uh, is changing, moving uh, under this street that uh, the, the building develop upper, the different functions. This is the more or less the general plan, so we have bridges that uh, go through the, and one part to another part, this is the street, but uh, the plan for us more important is this, is the ground floor is open side for in front of the country, and uh, uh, you have this uh, little, um, this little uh, space for to protect the house, in the, the classroom, okay, another, or you have this bridge to cross in front of this. Then they, uh, we have this uh, like uh, square, at the interior at this long street. This is one of this building. Uh, you can, uh, this side is going to develop at all because uh, um, behind of this is a techno technological campus of the university and uh, it's going to belong to this uh, campus. In, the, in front of this building, this, uh, you can recognize the, um, the section the different uh, parts of the administrative uh, site of the building, the main class or the main library of the complex, or the, another classroom that follow from this to there. And the main street is uh, completely open to the country. And uh, we want to also to resolve this building not exactly like a building because uh, we want <coughs> not to have a building, heavy building there, no stone, no metal. We resolve with this project with plastic all completely and uh, um, more or less it's, it's two layers of plexi. Well, it's more <laughs> complex that uh, we don't want to describe here, but uh, resolve the temperature. But uh, we want to receive the light from the exterior to the interior of the classroom through the wall of the classroom. We don't want to have light, so we don't know to have exactly windows. We want to, to have this wall illuminate all day and follow the change of the day, in the morning, in the evening. This is a, 
this building. The street began here, and in different uh, uh, side of the facade, we permit uh, the wind go through behind of this and uh, to become cold in summer. But these big uh, windows, this big, uh, this belong to the big um, square, is open completely open to the to the country. Also, I have to say that uh, this is a uh, flooding. This is near a river. Okay, then this is po the possibility to resolve to to happen. So it's going to happen each uh, five years. Then last year it happened that uh, the flow in the river arrived here and closed completely the, the, the building and the building is uh, higher and nothing problem, nothing happens. This is the opposite facade, the street and the street without the people because, uh, because the people were in class in another timetable but uh, more or less we want to produce this uh, atmosphere. No exactly to have a heavy building, to have a street. The, this is the pavilion for the going to the classroom. One of these, one of these, and to produce light, go through the material and go into. This space uh, take out well, the, the little movement of the, of the uh, open air in, um, around the building. It changed always the gray, the sun, the shadow, and weather, the humidity, and produce different, different quality of the, of the street. Within, it's like a Soko. A Soko is never the same in every hour, in every, uh, in every part of the year. This is another view, uh, completely open to the, the country. It's a uh, vestibule for to go into the classroom, the street, and we arrive to the square. This is the, the main uh, site for the administration, and the library, the corridor for the upper classroom, and completely open. The, as we said, the, the weather can be here. and produce this sensation that uh, the light uh, arrives here, arrives there, and it, be, it depends of the, of the sun, of the quality of light is changing a lot. You can see this is never, you have the same photo because this is, this is red, yellow, and, that, uh, and the stereo is uh, open it, completely the space is open the back view, it changed, it changed the light, then it changed the colors, and this is one of the, of the classroom, this is the wall illuminated by the sun, and um, a different curtain for to cut light, but uh, this quality is uh, to produce uh, different changes in the classroom, but uh, the possibility to the light uh, came through the wall. From the bridge to the to the street, and uh, you can see here the situation for the different levels of these boxes. This is the, the underground cross this side. We have finished uh, this building. <coughs> few months ago is um, a hospital in the in this site a strange site in the in Sevilla in the ancient uh, wall exhibition 92 exhibition of the wall of that this is a, a strange site because uh, at seven o'clock uh, this city this uh, big city is uh, completely closed and uh, in the in seven in the morning is open for people live there no, people work there because uh, nobody lives there. Then it's a, a strange situation about, we talk about the uh, urbanism. But the site of the, of the project, for the competition, is, for us was wonderful because we have two streets, one of these and, and one, another here. This is the 
situation. You can see here these uh, icons of the 92 of the Wallace Division, okay, of different countries and that. The, level, the, 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 the project is very complex to describe the different functions, um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. finally we have to resolve with the idea to produce uh, this uh, main street at the interior, this big, big vestibule at the, at the interior, and to resolve another thing that, that uh, it, um, it um, can to be with the, this kind of wall of the, um, of the people that became not exactly in well conditions, about this uh, uh, strange city that people that uh, <laughs> resolve your problem with your body, and uh, also with relation between people that visit to you when you are in not good condition and uh, in bars. The, we need to resolve one of these uh, kind of shape with uh, a culture, um, a cl the different um, um, rooms for the, for the patients, and uh, in front of these uh, always uh, rooms, we have this big space for the people that visit you and weigh something wait news. You have, uh, you can see here, for example, one of these space is in front of the develop of the different rooms, always for necessity of the, of the weather and the bioclimatic, uh, something for to rescue the energy and that uh, always uh, we have the, 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 same, the same window in the same direction, in that, in that, and the courtyard in the opposite, opposite side of the, of the plant. This is the one of these, of course, and one of these. We want to produce this, uh, this kind of big street, the building over uh, our head, and uh, this complex is uh, for the Kyrgyz site, okay? The, and this is the room, uh, the part more lower of this, uh, of this building, and the possibility to go through from one street to another street. This is the, the main, main floor and the, in the way to, to put in many, many, a lot of rooms, okay? In the same direction, in relation with the sun, with the wind, and the position for families, visitors, and that. And always one courtyard, another, and another. This kind of, uh, this, uh, this piece, is like that, exactly the culture, the direction of the rooms, for to take the sun and uh, produce this uh, effect venturi for to remove the open air. This is the transversal cut section, okay? We have this plan for the chirurgical site for the medicine and the room for, for people and the main street that you can go through from one part to another part. This is the main hall, this courtyard. We want to, the, this career part, uh, uh, we, we need to, 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 to take uh, this uh, sensitive of the open air, okay? The, the ground floor is that. This is the model of uh, the, the process of the making the, the project. This is the, the void of the, that you can discover at the interior of this uh, big, big street. And finally, this is the building. You have this, uh, these pieces for the, for, for, the, for the people, that visitors and that, another and another. And this is the street and uh, develop this, uh, this kind of building with this uh, the city, uh, at the interior they have uh, one one street. This is more or less uh, a detail uh, with this snow, but uh, we want to put in the main side uh, the, the visitors, the visitors, and the visitors, and uh, to produce this uh, this kind of building like like uh, clean, like uh, steel, nothing designed, but uh, absolutely like you, you, you were in German, is uh, with perquisite exactitude and uh, 
This is another view. On the opposite side, uh, we have the, the zone for the audiences, and uh, we want to put <coughs> this building on the ground floor and put the street for people to go through, through the building. Okay, this is another view, another. This is the main street. And uh, you can go through from this street to another. This is a, a little upper, the, the ground floor. And uh, we don't want to put light in the in the in the in the roof because we want to we want to produce the uh, again this atmosphere that uh, light go into and not uh, uh, nothing. We put nothing in the in the roof. Okay. We put light from here and that and that. This is the main space, and the building is uh, upper, and the rooms of the patients, and this is the main hall, main street, and you can go from one street to another street. The space, and this is the, for the visitors. One of these. Uh, Big uh, eye, big uh, mouth that you have so in the in the before view. This is the courtyard of the Kirujan site. The main hall. This is uh, enclosed the ramp for the for pedestrian people. Okay, the back. The, it's completely open. The window. The, the wind and sand go into to this space on this courtyard. And this is completely the, the roof, the, it's all, the, the ground floor is always still to produce this atmosphere optimist. This is the courtyard of the Kirurgia Song. Another view. We are going to explain, I don't know if we have uh, any time, two little projects we have in this moment. One of these is uh, developed uh, in projects and the other is in, in this time is developing. But uh, because we want to explain another, th another concept we work on in this moment is in which condition we can follow the life. Not produce exactly object, produce uh, uh, instead of, uh, produce a building that can be transformed their spaces. Building that follow your life. Then we began with this uh, researching in the 50s, of course, where many, many architects work about this thing. In the 50s, in the 60s, Aldo Van, Aldo Van Eyck, uh, um, Bernard Rudowski, um, in the 70s, uh, Heath Berger, a lot of people that uh, we don't have uh, a lot of money for to produce architecture. We only, for us, they only have a very strong idea in which way they can produce this life in the cities. This is an ancient of God again, <laughs> or so called in the, but uh, it began, this photo begins to the Bernard Rudowski and uh, discover this site in changing in every day with light, with day, with hour, with people. This, uh, this was um, a competition we have developed in the, the execution project in this moment. This is Cordoba. This is a Muslim city, and this is the block, complete block. This is the city that Enrique in Santa has this Meblos building that is a Medina Sara, the Museum of Medina Sara, wonderful, wonderful building. And this is the same city, but uh, the ancient city. Uh, now in the um, holiday city, that's what Medina Sara. This is the this is the big block, and this was the ancient 
center of the Roman city. The problem of the competition, first of all, were to resolve the, um, the settlement of this open site at the interior of the, of the main block, and also resolve the building for the, um, for the foundation of the contemporary architecture. We won, we won, <laughs> we were. <laughs> Uh, we had a la very lucky, we, we won twice, and uh, in this moment we have uh, developed this, uh, this building. But at the interior, the problem were to resolve the, the, the situation of this, uh, this boy and discover something about ruins, the Roman ruins that uh, you can uh, visit there. I don't want to describe exactly the development of this uh, big uh, project, but uh, only to put something that we are researching in this moment. Uh, the removing the, the, the project about this open space for us is like that, is uh, for the competition, where for the competition, to put something in floor that uh, go on ground and produce this, uh, this sensitive of humidity, uh, this uh, glamour of the site, uh, this, uh, this kind of quality of the wall, white wall that uh, it became covered by plant. Only to have this, uh, this kind of rocks in the ground floor for to hear the raining in in winter or only to smell these uh, oranges. Walk through at the interior, not to di not discover nothing, it's only clean this, uh, this kind of object that we can found at the interior of the site or produce new building that only want to be a big, big volume to you can through at the interior uh, but uh, look at this uh, strange building. This is the, the site for the interpretation of the, of the place. We designed this, uh, the main roads, discovered different point of the, of the interior of this garden. <coughs> but I describe it this, I want to describe this building. In this moment we are developing. This, uh, it's going to be the foundation of architecture, contemporary architecture, and we want to resolve like a door that uh, permits to go into to this development site and in which manner we no, don't want to be, to, to, to be exactly an architecture. We want to be uh, an urban hall that people go through the interior. This is, must be an open space and produce this kind of strain uh, that architecture you can see, you can found uh, at the many, many ancient city in the, in, the, in the Mediterranean and probably in this city. <coughs> this is uh, more or less the solution for the, for the future building. Here you have exactly the level of the ground floor that permit to go into from the exterior to the interior and the opposite, okay? And the, uh, the problematic of this uh, program where that uh, you have to exhibit the uh, Roman, Roman ruins at the interior of the, of the building because uh, deeper is the rest of the Roman circus. This was, uh, it's like a, um, a basket. We don't want to have uh, windows, door, we, had, we want only to have a basket, a basket that the window go on the, the, the wind go into the air, the humidity, the possibility that uh, the, the, the water came into and uh, also to the vegetable can ground and transform completely this space and this facade. Finally, this is uh, the little building. It's uh, the offices, the, the main the main room for the, for the detectors and the, the site for the classroom and for the main site for lectures and the rooms deeper, okay? This is completely open 
and for us it's no, no, no close. No, we don't want to close this uh, possibility that wind go through, the raining go into, and to close this, uh, to resolve this building like a building with door, with uh, this, uh, this kind of images <coughs> of the public building, strong. No? This is the result of the facade, this is the concrete, and uh, with vegetable at ground in winter, and printings at, uh, this is the main site. Um, you can't uh, go into the, the program under uh, the ground, vegetable, in winter, in printings to go out, go out. It could be for the exhibition because uh, there, normally they exhibit something in the street because, but in this, in this situation, if uh, the, the building is upper and you go and through, and uh, this is the, also the solution for the, in, the interior space is like uh, a support, is uh, we don't want nothing recover the walls, we want to only to make with concrete, glass and to produce this quality that uh, that you were at the exterior not exactly at the interior this is from here this view of this of that for the administration this is the culture and the section this is at the studio the main vestibule and the ruin, ruins roman ruins that's uh, deeper at the building that is a uh, transverse cut of the building the open street, open rooms. Upper, visiting, Alvaro Sisa visiting the building. And uh, here you can, the rain, the water can inside, but uh, protected uh, the main room for the conceal is here. And you, call, you can look at the ancient city from this building to out with this uh, this kind of basket that is, is the building make it. This is the site for the room, Roman rooms, and this is the studio completely. And this is the back of this wall is the is the main room for the lectures and the hall, the site for the exhibitions. The back of the building is the, the garden at the interior of the block and the, this different level. We prefer for to produce this kind of life at exterior, but uh, but uh, with the building upper, and in winter it could be that it's completely transformed, like this basket um, with the main space. I think we rest, we finish, or one more, one more. We have, we have uh, yet developed this, this uh, execution project of the one competition. And uh, it was an ancient city near also when the Enrique Fuenzanta had made this wonderful building, the Sol Merida, this uh, Palace of Congress. It's, uh, but uh, it's in the same region, it's Extremadura. In this site, uh, this ancient site, when we visit uh, the, the place for the competition, we discover that. This was a castle, and in the, at the interior of the ancient castle, medieval castle, we discover this uh, market, this two church, and this space for the full uh, bullfighter. Fighter, okay? Then together, produce this uh, wonderful uh, space that Never, never, you can imagine from the, from the exterior to the, when you see this castle. But at the interior, it's, it's too much. Too much architecture, too much spaces, too much life. Visiting the, the site, this is uh, on the, it, it was the, 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 the objective of the competition, uh, to produce a big hotel and uh, restore one ancient church uh, and one a school for child of the Jesuits. This is one an Roman uh, that began in, in Rome in the 
in the 16th cycle, very important, and uh, this building, it became destroyed with time, but uh, only we can visit the ruins. But uh, when we visited the, the, the village, we discovered this point, this point, this point that uh, I have described before. At the interior of this block, there were a very big space like that. Uh, this is a paradise with, uh, with uh, water, color, vegetable, movement, phenomenons that at the interior you can't visit exactly, but uh, at the interior they were. We can, we can discover all of this, a uh, lot of uh, spaces like that. This is the situation, this was the situation of the competition, this is an ancient church. This is, we are going to, to walk around this big block. Uh, we began here, this was a big church, the ancient church. We walk, this is, we follow the block, okay. This is the kitchen garden, kitchen garden from the ancient um, building. We follow. From here, this is we, we found these uh, little houses that began that belong to the same complex. We follow with the ancient piece for the um, schoolers that uh, they uh, learn here with the Jesuits. Okay, and it began to the uh, seven circles. Okay, and uh, this follow with this street with another wall, another uh, complex of housing, and that uh, from the 18th second. But finally, at the interior, we have sure that we are going to discover that. This void, but uh, you never can see from out, uh, but at the interior was this garden, uh, the kitchen garden, this is domestic garden, for the, 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 the people who live there in the uh, 17th second. Okay. This is the, the back, the wall of the, of the chair that we have saw before. This is the another building. This is the, uh, the situation of the beginning of the competition. This is the one building for the school, school babies. This is the church. This is the uh, domestic site for the developed uh, the many things. And uh, this is another building that we can destroy it because it's uh, only we have to, uh, to conserve, preserve the wall of the facade of that. Then this is was the complex and this is the void. This is the first floor, okay. The church is the big boy, the garden and the More or less, we solve the project we have and develop is that uh, discover the interior, put the interior of the center of this block for, to the city, uh, discover it uh, from the exterior to the interior, put the rooms in this block, okay? The main the kitchen for the restaurant and that, and the main site in the ground floor for the administration, cafeteria, restaurant, and that. But uh, for us, we want to produce this kind of uh, site, open site for people um, that we give to the city. This is the main site. This is uh, this happened um, dower. This uh, big, 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 uh, uh, this kind shape of concrete that uh, the light go down and produce uh, this uh, this atmosphere or again in between this uh, building and recognize the different levels of topography of this complex. You can go into, arrive there, recognize the church. And, uh, this is the model. We, we work in on in the, when we were making the, the project. This uh, more or less is uh, this kind of layer of co concrete and recognize the geography at the interior, okay? We put here the rooms, the church, restaurant, and the rooms again in the ancient building. We want to cut in different uh, dimension, like the city, you can follow in the city, it's more like that, 
no big, no big, no exactly uh, the same level and uh, recognize this uh, geography of the wolf. This is another view. And uh, this is the, finally the, the, this kind of roof uh, without, uh, without roof that uh, only for to produce this shadow at the interior. And this is the main space that uh, is uh, the, 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 the space that uh, join all of this uh, complex that uh, uh, walk around of this place. This is completely open for the raining and weather. And uh, this, uh, this uh, concrete arrived to the roof and to produce the swimming pool and to, to see the heritage of the city. This is the church. And this is more or less the situation of this, is this part. And uh, finally, this is the space we give to the city. It's completely open. You can follow to discover it, but it's no, obviously you can find it, but at the interior you discover this, uh, this, uh, this kind of open space, but normally no, nobody pays to you for to make it. You have to take money <laughs> to, the seat, to the another part of the building to resolve this space, the public space. Always they remember it is uh, very thing and like that, like that, big, big, very big master that you remember that uh, take about these phenomenon that you go take sand, take shadow, put at the interior, leave from the up the interior, but like, like act, act the, the exterior. Thank you for all and wait to see you again. <clears throat> <laughs> you were explaining always yeah. about the public space, you were explaining mm -hmm. creating this illusion of the interior space for the roof and so on. Could be almost almost some people upside down, but this is because of the reflection of light. Yeah. You give yeah. many clues, but you didn't mention the colors, yeah. but you use it almost all no, the time. The color for us is the beginning of life, you, the beginning of transformation of the space. If you put white, you don't... Uh, give people the possibility to follow. But if, you've call, if you, you have to, <laughs> you can, you can um, do that. If you could uh, put some color inside, people following, following, transforming color and sight and uh, I, I don't know. But color, of course, is the, the ancient city that, uh, that uh, we live in the, in the Mediterranean. It's uh, always the color is, uh, is the life. No? It will be on the life. Uh, 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> Always this building belongs to the competitions. We have at the end problems. But, uh, but people accept this, uh, finally, the life you put there, I think. But normally, people react. Um, I don't know, but no, we don't have law for the, this, uh, this answer. No, no. One building is successful for, for people, another no. But uh, it's not, I don't know exactly if it was your question, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is the beginning of yours. One afternoon in the middle of I don't know what week or in the middle, there was there were so little people in the in the area. In fact, the, and the building was closed. But we did try to get in, and I have to tell you that the people there they were very proud that we came in, and they and they opened the door for us, and there were children downstairs, and yeah. in that place that we have for the children playing the children, and the mothers took us around and they showed us all the building and they. <laughs> no, but uh, I recognize that uh, one of these is a very hard building, but uh, people accept. I, we don't want to make uh, exactly um, very kindly architecture. Only if you discover life inside, perhaps. But uh, we don't. We don't want to to exactly to produce. And the first image of, the, of architecture, it could be Kylie for people. No, no, no. People have to discover the Kylie of the building with the bello it, with the life. I don't know. Because in that way, it could be commercial building. No, we don't want exactly commercial building, produce commercial, commercial building. No. It's hard. It's, uh, many buildings. <laughs> <laughs> so. Any other questions? Okay, so thank you very much for coming. For you.
Are you ready? So it's um, a pleasure that um, Ko Hasegawa is with us today at Urika. It's, um, it's more than a pleasure that we uh, have you here. We had, uh, I think, a great uh, debate today. We learned a lot more about your thoughts uh, during the project um, Antwerp Utopia we are presenting today. And um, for me, it's always a, a big pleasure to, to be confronted with uh, <coughs> architects, Japanese architects who are um, always confronting us with um, a different perception of what architecture in the world could be. Um, one of the questions we uh, asked you today was architecture versus technology. And you said architecture is very, is an old discipline, it's very slow. Um, maybe technology is not that important. <coughs> and on the other hand, when we, um, when we look at your work, it's, uh, it's not only uh, extremely radical work, it's extremely precise. And I think your work is uh, confronting us with, um, with very new ideas. And it's, it's, um, it's great that you will teach in Mandricio for the next two years, four semesters. Um, so people who want to go to Mandricio to, to look at uh, how you are dealing with education, with lecturing, we can go. Two does it nine, you start as a lecturer at the Tokyo Institute of Technology, also institute where you uh, graduated, where you did your master. You established um, Goa Sugawa and Associates in 2005, after um, finishing your education in 2002 and then um, working at uh, Taira Nishizawa's office. Um, you were born in um, Saitama. One of the things which uh, impressed me is that um, you can maybe talk about your work in a very easy way by saying house in a forest. But then when you look at the work in the forest along a a route where you can walk, a house which is opening up and closing. You see that um, the translucent wooden roof in the house is something I think is extremely um, conf confronting as with um, the fact that wood as a translucent material is being used for the roof. You got many awards for that house, <coughs> at least um, at least three, and also a house you did in uh, Sakurai Dai for your for your sister, uh, the house which actually is a big table, and, and, and we all know this photo with the with the small child looking over this floor. I think I don't I don't want and I don't need to say more. Um, than this. It's, um, we all look forward to, uh, to listen to your lecture. Um, I was able to, uh, to look through this book. It's a fantastic book and it's a, a big surprise for, uh, it was a big surprise for us, all of us, that your work is so, on the one hand, incredible, um, confronting us with new ideas. On the other hand, it's uh, based on Japanese tradition. It's so global, it's so local, it's so 
everything we want to, um, to hear from you uh, today. So I'm really looking forward. The, the very last thing, I, um, I know that um, you're based in Tokyo, very close to uh, Harajuku. A quite interesting area. <laughs> It's very close to Nishi Azebu, so we, um, we will have fun tonight. Oh? Thank you very much for being here, and we're looking forward. Uh, uh, thank you very much today, uh, Will Alex and uh, Lena san. Thank you. Um, today I, I, I'll show you my lecture titled Pleasure of Living. Uh, uh, for me, the most important thing in architecture is pleasure of living. I started my office in 2005 and I designed about uh, 11 houses. And my house and uh, uh, apartment, but mainly I designed house. So my pleasure of living is very important. Well, of course, uh, every, for every architect, it's, it's, it should be important, but uh, for me, it's very, uh, it, it is uh, connected to the Japanese custom, I think. Uh, this picture is drawn in uh, um, the 16th century. It's uh, Edo era. It's a very old picture. And uh, the road, the, uh, the party under the blossom. Uh, we have a custom uh, called kan Hanami. Hanami means the, the uh, celebration spring has come. So still now we celebrate the spring under the cherry blossom. So we drink the, under the cherry blossom in the park or uh, garden. So uh, I, I like this drawing. And uh, so Japanese people, ah, and uh, in this picture, you can see the, the cross. Oh, this is a wall, but a very uh, temporary one. And uh, we are, we, are, we always uh, separate the outside space, so uh, Japanese people have allowed the semi-public and the semi-outdoor space. We have a, a kind of custom. And uh, in the uh, private house, uh, the sense of uh, this is very important for me. And uh, uh, at first, I, I, I should explain about the pleasure of living. Um, we, Japanese, has the four kinds of pleasure. Uh, pleasure means, uh, we call the pleasure yorokobi in Japanese, yorokobi. And uh, we have the four yorokobi, four pleasure. Um, this is uh, uh, Japanese uh, picture, a uh, kanji. And we have these four pleasure. It means uh, this is yorokobi. Every every every, uh, every picture uh, called yorokobi, but the same meaning is a pleasure. But uh, it's we use it in the. It, it depends the situation. For example, uh, this this yorokobi, this pleasure is very. Mm, we always use it. When the new good news has come, we feel Yorokobi. So this is uh, very personal and uh, uh, something external, extraordinary things. Uh, we feel the pleasure. Or uh, this one is, um, for example, the when, when, uh, uh, for, for example, the celebration party or something, of, uh, or um, 
んだろうな、バースデーパーティーを寒い。So this is more not personal but a kind of social and it's connected to the ordinary. And this is, this is another pleasure. This is, a, for example, in a onsen, in the bath time or the、uh, massage,、uh, we feel the pleasure. This is more physical,、um, most physical pleasure in、uh, Japanese kanji. And this is、uh, a kind of wedding party or something. It is more social and、uh, extraordinary.、Uh, this is very rough、uh, categorized, but uh, uh, I try to categorize、uh, the four kinds of pleasure in Japanese kanji. And uh, um, I try to、um, think about uh, the uh, pleasure of living in,、um, in, in, in private house. And、uh, we always think about around here. I mean, the, the between the Uh, ordinary and extraordinary, and、uh, physical and social. This、um, position is a kind of feeling between them, is very、um, attractive for me. And、uh, for that,、um, blank space, I, I call it blank space,、uh, which can control various t y p e of relationship.、Uh, I'll show you the Seven projects, but、uh, always I think about the blank space and、uh, it, it's, it made a、uh, pleasure of living、uh, between them. So,、um, from now I'll show you the seven projects. The first project is a house in the forest. This is my first project.、Uh, Because of the client asked me, I can start my office. So,、uh, the client is my, fa my father's friend. And、uh, the site is in the deep forest named Karuizawa. Karuizawa is the most famous、uh, weekend house area in Japan,、uh, two hours by car from Tokyo. My house is here.、Uh, very nice. Site. The north part is walking path, and the south, south side is the small river. Between them,、uh, it stands.、Uh, this is my first project. It's very normal roof shape, it has a gable roof, and uh, uh, black, very normal house shape. From the walking path, it You can, you, you, you can only see the roof. And the problem、uh, issue from the,、uh, the, the, the request from the client is the, the privacy from the walking path. Because this walking path is very famous in this town. So, when,、uh, in this, for example, in this season, a lot of people walking here. So,、uh, Privacy is very important from the north. But at the same time, the, this is in the deep forest. So, keep, keep, so making the big,、uh, strong wall towards the north is boring for me.、Um, I, I would like to keep the、uh, kind of sense to the every direction in the forest. Uh, this is a balcony on the roof. This is plan. Plan is very simple. It has two bedrooms,、uh, sorry, in Japanese. This is a living room and kitchen and、uh, guest room and、uh, bedroom and、uh, bathroom. This is very simple. Small house.、Uh, it has、uh, an 80, almost 80 square meter. 
And uh, sus around here, there is a small river. The characteristic of this house is in section, like this. Uh, there is a three section. Uh, this has, a, as I said, a gable roof, roof shape. And uh, every room, every seven room has also roof, roof shape. So for example, the entrance and the living and the kitchen and the bedroom and the bathroom, every room has roof shape. So like, uh, like this uh, diagram, under the big roof, there is a small roof shape, like this. The reason why I made it is how I would like to think about uh, how to use the uh, attic space between the roof and the ceiling. There is an attic space, and uh, generally, attic space is just a um, blind space, but uh, um, I try to I try again, I try to think again about the way of using the attic space. For example, this is a, a sectional detail. Um, when you stand on the kitchen, you can directly up to the sky beyond the living room, like this. So when, uh, when I put the skylight, and uh, here is also the grass. Um, you can look up directly to the south sky. Or um, here is also the ceiling, but semi-transparent semi ceiling. Um, this living room is always uh, very bright from the skylight. This is the living room. Living room has the uh, um, the ceiling is acrylic with the slice, sliced wood. Uh, every material is uh, maple, but uh, only the ceiling is it's bright in the morning. So sunlight, sunlight comes from here like this. So North part of the ceiling is always bright in this uh, living room. Um, yeah, this is uh, the uh, bedroom. Bedroom has also the uh, transparent, semi-transparent ceiling. It's made from the Japanese paper, washi. So it's very always bright and uh, and also the bathroom, uh, you can see, sorry, very strange <laughs> picture, but uh, you can see the uh, small river. So when you enjoy the bathroom beside the river, and at the same time, you can look up the sky to the north. So your sense of feeling is always spread to the various type of direction. And when you, washing the dishes in the kitchen. You can look up the sky uh, beyond the uh, living room, like this, through the attic space. So this attic space is a kind of deep window up to the sky. And uh, uh, near the uh, entrance, there is a stairway to the balcony. And when you up to the balcony, you can see the, uh, this landscape between the roof and the ceiling. Here is a roof. It's difficult to recognize, but uh, here is a, this is a roof, and this is a living room, and this is a bathroom. So you can see the uh, seven box, seven small house under the big roof. And here's a, a skylight. So the sunlight comes like this. Here is a kitchen. So this space can be a kind of sunroom. So you can, you can enjoy the tea time on, on the step. But this is the balcony. 
And the next, next project is the house in Sakuradai. It's the, my sister's house. Um, this is uh, uh, far from Tokyo, uh, maybe seven hours from Tokyo by Shinkansen. It's uh, the very typical uh, residential area in Japan. Um, I designed this. This. And my sister is the uh, teacher in elementary school. And uh, uh, her husband is also the teacher. So teacher is very hard work. They must prepare the something in, in the holiday in the house, the very big print or seat to teach. So uh, they need a very big uh, workspace. Well, maybe something like this. But uh, mm, I, of course, uh, I, I know about them because uh, I'm the brother. So, so I know well about their family, and they are very um, open mind, so nice family. So I think, I think uh, it's boring to, to think about only the private room. So my idea is this. The, this is the first floor, the ground floor. Uh, Inside the house, there is a very big table, uh, six meter by, uh, no, 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 four meter by four meter. And surrounding this table, there is, a, uh, this is a father's uh, study room and two children's room. The private room is, uh, this table is surrounded by the private room. And the second floor is the uh, living Dining kitchen, uh, it's, it's circled uh, uh, over the void. Uh, uh, the table has the void, so the section is like this. Th this is a table, and uh, it has the skylight. This is uh, the table from the father's study room. You can see the brother and the brother. Uh, no, 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 the son, two sons. And uh, you can look up the uh, living room. And uh, yeah, here is uh, the grass, but it looks almost uh, courtyard. From the son's room, uh, this, this space is, as a size, is very normal. It's uh, uh, just, just nine, nine square meter or something, and the ceiling height is 2.1 meter. It's very normal in Japan. But uh, around here, when you walk to around here, uh, the relationship between uh, the father in the second floor or the brother in opposite side of the uh, table. So this big table can connect the family like this. And also the, your feeling is, uh, makes uh, spread to the outside beyond the room like this. This is a uh, living room on second floor. There is a big window, uh, not only outside, but also the inside. Here is a big table room. Ah, oh, she is my sister. <laughs> so. Um, uh, the important thing in this picture is him. From, from this point of view, you can see the every, uh, ha every family, <coughs> but uh, from him, uh, he cannot see another person. So, I mean, uh, he can, but he can feel, he feel alone 
he when he close to this table, he can um, see the another person or the uh, landscape to the outside. So he can control the uh, relationship in the uh, with in the selecting the position around here. And the uh, third project is the, is, is the very center of the city, uh, center of Tokyo, Hasei Gotanda. Hasei Gotanda is the uh, uh, center of the Tokyo. And the uh, very crowded area, my, I designed here, very small. The uh, site is only 46 square meter. But in, it's very small and uh, very crowd, uh, very uh, crowded area. But uh, uh, it's at the same time, it's very good place because uh, uh, towards this site, uh, a lot of the uh, uh, load coming to this site, and at the same time, uh, there is a big uh, parking. So as a as a As a site, it's good in Tokyo. Uh, this is this is a house in Gotanda, uh, very ugly town <laughs> in Tokyo. There's no, there's no, there's very uh, various type of uh, building. For example, uh, this is a taxi office. Here is an apartment. Here is a, a private house. And uh, over there, there is a uh, cemetery, or a very mixed area. And here is a very famous shopping center named TOC. Yes, very crowded and uh, chaotic area. But in fact, the, uh, this is the house in Gotanda, and the four-story house. And in fact, this part, the silver part is the entrance door. So when you open like this, uh, you can open the very big door. The height is 10 meter and the wideness is 1.2 meter. Uh, she is a client. When you open completely, uh, this house is separated too. Uh, right hand is three stories, and left hand is four stories. And uh, between them, there is a gap. And here, uh, there is a uh, grass skylight, and uh, over there, uh, it's a spider stairway. Yes. So it's 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 it looks the. Uh, kind of uh, gap space, uh, but uh, also the entrance hall and the stairway case. This is a section. Here is a uh, uh, garage and living room and uh, bedroom, and here is office, uh, study room and dining kitchen and bathroom. So you can go up the, with a spiral stairway like this. And at, at the same height, uh, 10 meter. This is a uh, uh, plan. Uh, the point of this house is the position of the spiral stairway. The stairway is a little bit come out from the uh, outside wall like this, like a hip. So when you go up to the stairs, uh, your body is come out from the wall like this. So from the living room, you go upstairs, your body is uh, come out between the gap to the neighbors. And from the 
uh, after the dining room, your body is un, uh, in the gap between two houses. So your experience is always changing the room and a kind of experience of a city in towns. It's very important in this project. So let's enter. Uh, this is uh, this is a uh, uh, very big door. Yes, the, and the wife of the client is a researcher, so they she collect a uh, uh, cloth or the mask, so uh, they put on the wall to the town. And here is a uh, study room of the wife. Uh, here is a spiral stairway, and uh, over there, uh, here is a hall, and over there, uh, they put the techie style. Yes, this is a uh, right hand is the study room, and the left hand is uh, living room. Uh, so this is a, a very typical skip floor type in section, but uh, the difference is from the uh, typical uh, skip floor type is the between them, there is a gap. There is an experience to the city. So when you move to the living room, your body is uh, spread. Uh, your body, the uh, sense of body is always uh, spread to the landscape in the city. Living room, and from the living room, uh, here is a dining kitchen. So when you look, uh, when you go up to the uh, dining room, your body is uh, come out to the wall. Uh, this is the uh, neighbor's uh, wall. So uh, this space is uh, kind of um, crepus between the building, but uh, you can f you can use the gap between the building. From the dining room, you can look down to the living room. So um, when you move to the uh, another room, your your sense of uh, living is always spread to the outside. I think it's very important in this project. Uh, inside, uh, even if very uh, narrow uh, site, narrow site, the our sense of living can be spread to the city, like this. It's not heavy. Yes. In the night, yeah, here is, you can see the stairway between the neighbor's house. Yes, the first project is the house in Komae. It's uh, in the very typical residential area in Tokyo. Uh, in the uh, design process, we made a lot of model, a lot of uh, study model. So um, 
mm, it depends, but uh, we mm, we examine a lot with uh, mm, five hundred models or something, and we always compare to the models. Uh, this is a site. This is an old house, and uh, after the destroyed, uh, we d we designed. It's in the corner, and the uh, site plot is 100 square meter. This is a very um, typical Tokyo residential area. Uh, I designed this one, and uh, uh, this area is very uh, strict. Has a strict uh, uh, regulation about the. Uh, Building plot. I mean, uh, we call it the Kemperis. The Kemperis is uh, the, we cannot build only 50% uh, of the site. So we must keep the garden as a half of the site. But uh, it's very small site, so we, we, I managed to, I tried to uh, make the Another solution. Uh, in this uh, regression, uh, we we can build only the less than uh, one meter higher. Uh, it not count as a building. So we put the one meter high uh, garden. So this is a rooftop. Very too low <laughs> rooftop, and uh, it's made by concrete. And uh, this is a wooden structure. This is a living room. So in in the section, here's a living room, and here is a private house, semi underground floor, and over there, here is a garden. Garden is in the one meter higher than the road. This is a plan. Uh, this is, a, this is a corner, and here is the entrance. There is a uh, living room by the wooden structure, and besides the living room, there is a garden. Uh, garden is made by the concrete, and uh, under the garden, uh, you, can, you can go downstairs to the semi-underground floor. This is a, a private room uh, with a bedroom and uh, children's room and uh, water room. And you can also directly go upstairs to the uh, garden. So with two uh, stairway, the, these three space, the living room and the garden and the bedroom is always, uh, there's a circulation. This is a facade. So uh, we don't have to count only this building. So we, we, we can clear, but uh, at the same time, we can build almost, uh, almost all of the site. On the garden, uh, there's a, a, some of plot, and uh, there's a, a several skylight, and over the private private space, and uh, there is a, there is a sink, so it can be a kind of outdoor kitchen. Uh, from the entrance, uh, you can see uh, living room is uh, has a ceiling height, uh, high ceiling height. It's uh, three point seven meter high. It's very open open space, and. Uh, the both texture of living room and uh, garden is the same mortar. So, the and the size of the of this space is the same. So, difference of this is just a uh, uh, roof or without roof. <laughs> so, this garden is like uh, outdoor living room. Uh, you can see the semi underground floor.
this underground floor is very bright with the skylight. Uh, generally, the underground floor is very dark and wet space, very bad space. But uh, this space is very silent in, under the ground, but at the same time, it connects directly to the sky. So it's silent, but very bright space. Um, the reason why I made such a space is the uh, wife plays a piano. And uh, before they live in the apartment house, uh, housing complex. Um, but uh, they, she worried uh, to play the piano in such a crowded residential area. So I put the piano under the ground and made by concrete. So it's, it's okay in, uh, to play such a crowded area. And when you wake up in the morning, you can, at first, uh, you can directly to the sky. And here is the uh, uh, plant on the garden. There is a lot of connection between them. So we call it, uh, I, can, I can say the, here is a uh, blank space in the uh, residential area. Uh, even if it's very small house, uh, the effect to the surroundings is very big. The architecture makes uh, uh, um, very small, even if the small architecture changes the uh, environment. So um, how it makes a little bit positive to the future. Uh, when you walk here uh, in front of the garden, uh, Around here is uh, a little bit bright, so um, it can be a kind of uh, blank space in the uh, crowded uh, residential area. And next is the um, apartment project, apartment in Nerima in Tokyo. Uh, the site is here. It's also the Kona. Uh, my project is, uh, has a lot of projects in Kona. I don't know why, but uh, it is also a corner. And uh, yes, th th I designed this uh, seven stories um, apartment. And uh, this is the uh, main street in this town. And uh, along, along this street, there is uh, a lot of uh, apartment on almost the same size. And uh, another building is at very typical Japanese uh, house, uh, apartment is like this. Uh, here is a, a north part of the apartment. Here is a corridor. And uh, here is a bathroom, very, very, very small bathroom. And here is a kitchen and uh, just a room. It's uh, nine square meter or something. And the uh, south part of the building, here is a balcony. But the uh, balcony is not so worked. Uh, it's just for the, uh, the space to escape. Or here is a, a space for the machinery or air, or, uh, air conditioner. So it's not the space for the life of people. So um, I try to change uh, the, the way of using the balcony. So um, after the uh, exam, I, I hit upon the, I, I have an idea to uh, like this. Um, I, we try to propose the, to make the various type of balcony. For example, the very tall balcony, or a long balcony, or L-shaped balcony, like this. So 
this is apartment project, but at the same time, the feeling of the people is as if they live in the detached house or they live in the, on the ground. So they have uh, each garden like this. Uh, this is a study model we, we made a lot. It's connected to the landscape in Tokyo. <laughs> And uh, it's the facade of this apartment. There is a lot of hall, and uh, just a hall, it's a terrace. And uh, this is a window. So uh, th this is a landam or wall, uh, hall and uh, window, like this. So uh, you can feel uh, various type of depths in the facade. So I'll show you the uh, several type of uh, terrace. For example, uh, yes, there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five variation of the terrace. Uh, this is a L-shaped terrace. This is a courtyard. It's uh, <coughs> between two rooms. Or well, this is a tall terrace. It has a very tall um, terrace. Uh, at first, uh, I'll show you the L-shaped terrace. L-shaped terrace is from the corridor. You can directly to the terrace, like this. And uh, you go around like this. Uh, here is a corridor. Uh, you, you can put the bicycle. And uh, uh, this is l shape. And here is a bathroom. So after the running, you can directly to the shower. <laughs> and, uh, and here is a room, like this. So uh, from the inside, you can feel the, uh, you are covered by the uh, L-shaped terrace. So you can see around beyond the Terrace, like this. And next is long terrace. Long terrace is the uh, typical um, apartment has a balcony in the end of the uh, room. But uh, in this type is you always have the long terrace in every room. So, uh, like this. Very, very thin, but high and long outside space. So, it's very, uh, it always bright space. And next is the courtyard terrace. Courtyard terrace is uh, the, it's, it's in between the two rooms. Here is a dining room and uh, uh, terrace with a bathroom and the bedroom. So from the dining room, uh, you can see the uh, bedroom over uh, uh, like this. Uh, here is a uh, uh, dining room and here's a bedroom and between them there's a terrace with a bathroom. And tall terrace, the last one is a tall terrace. Tall terrace is a mesonet type or a triplex type. And uh, beside they have small but very tall terrace. And this is uh, uh, the room for my staff. <laughs> And uh, here, uh, here is a first floor of this room. Uh, here is a dining room. And uh, over there, there is a terrace. Uh, it's just, just uh, six, only six square meter. But it has uh, eight meters high. So it's very high outside space, like this. This, uh, the second floor is only bathroom. It's very small space. 
and the third floor is the uh, uh, bedroom. And from the bedroom, you can look down the road like this. So through this uh, tall terrace, you can look down to the road. Or uh, when you wake up, you can look up to the sky through this uh, high, tall terrace. So with this, uh, using this proportion, you, your feeling is always spread to the sky or to the ground like this. It's a very different experience from the typical apartment. So I understand I will show you the movie. We call it uh, uh, it's a garden-like space. And I'll show you the, this Nirima apartment and the next project, House in the Forest, uh, Purity in the Forest. It's a very different project, but uh, uh, our interest is very similar. There's a various type of terrace, as I explained. They always made a party in, in the weekend. And the next project on the Pirotina Forest, it stands in the weekend house area. It takes the two hours by car from Tokyo. <coughs> the height of Pirotis is 6.5 meter. So it's enough uh, to, to stay in the, under the purities. It almost, uh, uh, it almost the space, uh, the cupboard, the wall is uh, made by natural green. The room is very compact, like attic space. You can look down. So 
So when, so you wake up in the morning, you go downstairs beside the trees and on huge pilties, they eat or drink in the daytime. Yes. So I will explain about the fruit in the forest. Fruit in the forest is uh, yeah, here. This is a site plan. Uh, this is a period in the forest. Uh, at first, uh, I decided to keep the surrounding, building, uh, surrounding trees, existing trees. So, like uh, cut with cut hair with barricade, only the uh, approaching for the client is uh, we made. But uh, another a lot of trees is. Uh, kept, and this is the section. Uh, the, as I explained, uh, the height of Pilotis is uh, uh, four point four, uh, six point five meter, and the ceiling height of the second floor is two point one meter. It's very low. The contrast between them is uh, important, and uh, the reason why I made such a huge Pilotis is one reason is the climate. Uh, around here is a very famous area as a, which has uh, humidity. It's very wet. So uh, another building has a very small pilotis for against the humidity. And uh, they use it for the storage or the garage or something. And uh, another reason is the, from the uh, Mm, three mm, third floor level, uh, they can see the uh, very nice view to the mountain, very famous mountain named Asamayama. So the client asked me to make the special um, a kind of uh, uh, roof terrace on the uh, weekend house. So. For, for for this uh, for this reason, I made the very huge pilotis, and uh, at the same time, uh, pilotis is always the symbol to keep from the space. But uh, uh, pilotis it spa itself is not uh, attractive for me, so uh, I'd like to try to make the new pilotis. Uh, this is a plan, and uh, uh, we call it Plaza in the forest. There is a roof terrace and a dining room and a small bedroom and uh, water space. It's very compact. Uh, this is the uh, uh, beginning of the construction period. And this is a... Uh, uh, Elevation. It's in the very wild, high dense, uh, in deep forest. So when we arrived at there, we start to put the hammock between the columns. Ah, yeah. First floor is a steel uh, structure, and the second floor is a wooden structure. And the, the size of column is. Uh, 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. And uh, the brace is uh, the three centimeter. So this is, uh, yeah, of course this is outside, but at the same time you can feel it almost uh, inside the cupboard with the natural trees. So this is inside, between inside and outside, and the, between architecture and the nature. Yeah.
yeah, you can look up to the sky through the uh, deck and uh, go upstairs. There's a very big window on the second floor. Yes, this level is very good, the best level I feel in this uh, forest. So, yeah, and uh, the dining table. How I designed? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this this uh, volume study is always the one to one hundred model, and at the same time, I, I, I uh, we always make the one to two, one to twenty model at the same time always. So in every volume, I, we always try to ability to make if they had a uh, handicap. Um, the most important architect in um, 20th century in Japan is uh, uh, Kenzo Tange and Kazuo Shinohara. And Kazuo Shinohara is uh, my professor, the professor, the professor, the professor. <laughs> so my, I'm a kind of grandchild <laughs> of Shinohara. And, uh, I, and I very, I'm very influenced from Shinohara. And uh, both of them always use the concrete because uh, it's, they, they can start to use the concrete in uh, uh, 60s. And, but the scale of the project is very different. Uh, Tange is always a uh, very big monumental building like uh, Hiroshima or the cathedral or the um, gymnastic in Yoyogi or something. But, um, he, he was asked to make a kind of uh, monument in, in Japan. But uh, Shinohara is always, um, Shinohara used the concrete too, but uh, his concrete is more, um, I think more Japanese concrete building, concrete house. They never make the huge, only huge space. They always, he always, I um, mean, it's a very uh, human space. It's very, so it's, his architecture is, uh, was never far from the Japanese um, scale, Japanese tradition, I think. So their concrete house is very different. And, uh, you call this abstract and Tanya more like a monument? Yes, yes. Uh, tange, yeah, the expression of Tange is uh, very, very too strong. Well, maybe uh, they, he asked from the government or something <laughs> to expression the new, new era of Japan. But uh, um, and the, uh, the concrete of Tange is very rough and strong. And uh, it's a, a kind of a symbol of a new New, new decade, but uh, the Shinohara, the concrete is very mm, abstract, and it it, it also uh, connect to the Japanese 
uh, sense, Japanese tradition, I think. And uh, I trust his feeling of the uh, abstractness of hers. It's okay. <laughs> so, hmm. yeah, in fact, yeah, it, it, it is, it's interesting. <laughs> yes, I must think more about the, about the difference between them. Hmm. But I was very surprised uh, you know about Shinohara. Yeah, in Japan, he's not so, uh, he's famous, but not so important in Japan. So maybe in Europe, he's much more <laughs> famous and uh, influenced person. I don't know. Oh, really? Yes. In Japan? Yes. 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 Which, uh, and that's also the question I would like to ask you. you know, uh, it seems that, for example, in this house, the outside space is extremely important. It has, uh, I think, even more important than, than the inside space no. as well. Inside space is also important. <laughs> Yes. 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 Why? 
it's the well, the reason why is my lecture, the the pause the pleasure of reading. The especially today, the uh, for, for example, in especially in Tokyo, we are needed to think about the security, or we are need to keep from the outside with uh, uh, tropical grass or a lot of uh, too much. <laughs> Thought. So the inside space is very isolated from the outside recently. So I, I, I think it's, it's so dangerous. It's very, very close. So um, keeping the, of course, uh, I always think about the security or um, heating, but uh, at the same time, how we can manage the new sense of openness or keeping the um, a sense of outside space uh, I, sh I, I can make. Um, I always think about it. And at the same time, <coughs> um, one of the reasons is the architecture is at the the purpose of architecture is the, at first, uh, a kind of shelter to keep the, our life. But at the same time, architecture can be uh, the machine to expand our sense, I think. So for, for example, House in the Forest, our sense can we go up, go up to uh, beyond the attic space our sense can be spread or, yeah, I always, in, in every project, I always say the spread of sense, sense body, body sense. So the um, expression of body sense is um, another purpose of architecture, I think. So th th these are the reason why I made the such a outside space. I think we are done. Okay. <laughs> so now we can have some pleasure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> some food. Okay, at rest. Thank you very much.